Hi, I'm Gene, and welcome to Assess Minutes, where we take a complex assessment topic and break it down to make it easily understandable, because minutes matter. Think about some of the youngest students that use STAR assessments. In kindergarten and first grade classrooms, it's typically the case that some students are using STAR literacy, and other students have transitioned over to STAR reading and STAR math, and so a very common and appropriate question that comes in from teachers is, how do I know when to have my students make that transition? When should they stop using STAR Early Literacy and transition over to STAR Reading and STAR Math? And the answer is pretty straightforward. On your reports within STAR Early Literacy, look for the heading Probable Reader. This is one of the four literacy classifications in STAR Early Literacy. And what I mean by that is, whenever a student takes a STAR Early Literacy test, they are placed into one of the following four categories. They are categorized as an early emergent reader, a late emergent reader, a transitional reader, or a probable reader. Probable Reader is the most advanced content in STAR literacy, and it actually represents the overlap between the most advanced content in STAR literacy and the beginning of the lowest content in STAR reading and STAR math. So, when you see that a student has made it to the Probable Reader category in STAR literacy, they are now able to transition over and take both star reading and star math. It's kind of like being in the amusement park and you saw that sign that says, you must be this tall to ride this ride. And probable reader is how tall a student needs to be on star early literacy before they'll be able to access the language and the content that they will see in star reading and star math. 